not easy to talk about. It's, mm. it's difficult for me, but I think the fact that, you know, I sort of conquered it five years ago, you know, and, um, and it changed my life, it, you know, the way I feel about life and the way I live life. Mm. And, it, and it, was, it was great for me, uh, with the help of Steph, How obviously. much do you think, Peter, over the whole time you lost at gambling? Have you ever worked out a figure? I, listen, it, it, a lot of money, but, I mean, I don't think that's important because... But, I mean, you know, are we talking, you know, tens of thousands, hundreds well, of I thousands, mean, I had millions? A, I mean, I had an addiction for... Well, I, you know, we didn't earn the money there and today. No. And I think the big thing is that, you know, football in particular, but most sports, they earn far more money than, than we ever did or mm. I ever did. Mm. And, of course, you know, the figures are going to go up and up and up because, you know, football in particular is... Uh, is an easy target because you do have a lot of spare time on your hands when you finish training. You don't really want to... You've got to rest so you can sit there and you get a bit bored, so you start, you know, getting on a bit of a high. At your your worst, how addicted were you to this? How many bets were you putting on a day? Well, really, you know, if you had an afternoon free, you'd spend most of the afternoon sort of, you know... I mean, my... I I was really horse racing. I loved horse racing. I even owned horses, Mm. so... But in, it was different to this day and age. In this day and age, obviously, there's a lot of easy games where, for kids in particular, they can get hooked on it very quickly and lose a lot of money very quickly. Mm. You know, I just... Mine was, was horse racing and stood in the form. But you still get involved. And, and what I feel is you get hooked, you know, from an early age. You can get something wise you're into gambling. Mm. It might be something that you, you start and you have a win or members of your family win or something like that. And it's very difficult then afterwards, once you get hooked, to sort of stop. Well, then you met Steph, I think, in 2012, and you realise, I would imagine, fairly soon that he might have a bit of a problem. But it's one thing knowing that your husband has this problem. It's another thing trying to wean him off it. You had tried to get his his account at Betfair, I think, cancelled, but they wouldn't do it because it wasn't your account. It was very uh, how did you eventually persuade him, well, Steph, to do it? It was very difficult for me because, obviously, being with someone so famous as well, there was I couldn't go to his GP, I couldn't go to his bank manager, so it's very difficult for a loved one. So I became an, the investigator, really, mm. and thought, I need to find out how bad this problem is. And um, so I was trying to see bank statements, I was encouraging Pete to get a credit report done because I needed to see that. And, um, and I was trying to, you know, open his, his bank statements mm. to see. So you have to be prepared for a few shocks. My goodness. And I sort of... Did I you get shocked? encouraged him to do it in front of me, mm. um, which he thought was great, but in actual fact, I, I needed to investigate how bad the problem w- was. Were you shocked by the levels? Yes, I was. And I think any, any loved one has to be prepared for that. But, you know, for me, I separated... Um, I separated the gambling from Peter because he's such a wonderful man and I looked at it purely clinically. You'd been in the NHS, hadn't you, for 20 years? You you saw it as just another sort of health issue, 100%. It was an illness. I likened it to heroin and and drug Mm. addiction. You know, the the money fed the addiction. So She became a bit of a football manager because, looking back on it, she kept feeding me, you know, because the thing with gambling, they throw win, 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 win. You know, you're going to win at this, you're mm. going to win at that. And everybody gets in that, like, we're going to win. You're going to, when you lose, you're going to win again. Mm. I didn't. Steph Gambling, kept basically, calling, you're always kept, in like, Looking back, she kept using the word lose. lose. You know. And every conversation, I made a conscious, conscious effort of saying... So when the Racing Post came, I'd say, oh, it's the Losing Post. The Losing Post yeah. is... Very interesting. So psychologically, used... she took a winner like you, Peter, and made you realise you were being a loser. Yeah, and, definitely. Well, and in the end, you did. You managed to persuade him to cancel his account for about three months. You had kind of cold turkey, didn't you? Yeah. Describe well, that. I didn't realise I had, but Steph, you know, noticed it's it. Really I mean, difficult. I just, I just woke up one day. I'd had a particularly, you know, bad weekend gambling, and and you know, I knew Steph knew, and we, you know, I didn't want to lose Steph, and I knew she wasn't happy, and mm. and I thought to myself, what are you doing? You know, um, y- you've never won at gambling. You know, over the years, you have you have, every gambler has to win, but you're always giving them back mm. you know, because you want to gamble. Mm. You know, when you're not gambling, you're on a high. You know, and then when you finish, it's only then you think, Christ, I've lost a lot today, I've won a lot. But even when you win, you think, Oh, I'm going to have a, ga- a bet tomorrow. Do you bet at all now? No, no, I would never do it because so we, we've spoke point? to a gambling. It's gambling with lives. Mm. You know, yeah. and it's a charity formed by yeah. parents who. Their sons or daughters uh, have committed suicide at a very early yeah. age. And 
when it gets to that stage, and I think, because when I was gambling, there was no phones and that sort of thing, you could, you could phone up on a landline, but nowadays you can, fo- you can gamble app. anywhere. Yeah. You can gamble when... Some people tell me Chinese cooks gamble when they're cooking, you know. Yeah. So, but for kids, to me, I think there should be more done for kids, yeah. especially in schools, to stop Steph, them, prevent them. What was, the, what was it like living with... Peter, while he was gambling, when he was it absolutely was heart- deep in the throes of addiction. It was absolutely heartbreaking to think that this wonderful, in my eyes, national treasure mm. and this football icon um, had this illness. And this man and, you're in love with. Yeah, and it was a total illness. So, as psycholo- subconsciously, I had to detach the illness and I still refer it to an illness, which yeah. is why, you know, I'm, I'm trying to work with the Department yeah. of Health and, and the dis- NHS. Describe- but- sorry. Mm. Describe how he was then I think afterwards when he emerged from it that It took fog. about three months with the withdrawal symptoms. So um, he was very, very ir- irritable, restless. He couldn't sleep properly. You know, we had to take one day at a time. And obviously I had to put my career to one side, which mm-hmm. was, you know, I was ha- very happy to do. Um, but I would say it took about a year before Pete actually settled um, mm. and he got into golf and it was just wonderful to see and it's well, but Peter, what, what's not so wonderful and very quickly if you don't mind yeah. uh, the fa you know main sponsors yeah online betting firms i mean this is this can't be right can it yeah, well, well i think we we've spoke to the government you know uh, nigel adams uh you know and helen waitley um you know they're very keen to to put things and i think the government's got to put you know things in place to 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 prevent things happening. There's always going to be gambling firms. A lot of people gamble responsibly and have a few bets mm. and, and do it. But it's the, it's the, mm. you know, it's the addiction side of it, which a lot of people can have. So yeah. that's what's got to be tackled. Great to have you both on. We've got to leave so it there. Thank you both you. very much well indeed. Done. We appreciate it. It's a, it's a, it's a powerful message to other people who may be having that problem.